Okay, we are here at the Center County Memorial Park, State College, Pennsylvania. We are looking for the headstone of Milton Eisenhower, the youngest brother to the former president Eisenhower. He apparently chose to be laid to rest here in this cemetery in central Pennsylvania. He passed away in 1985. He was born in 1899, and he was the eighth uh, son to the Eisenhowers. He was 85 years old. The reason. I am looking for his headstone is he holds some history. He was a U.S. diplomat and educator. popular in his own way, not just because of President Eisenhower, which I found interesting when I looked him up. I never really think all the attention went to President Eisenhower as far as the Eisenhower name. graduating from Kansas State University. He became involved in government and became the assistant to the Secretary of Agriculture. And I believe he held that position. 1940 and then became a presidential advisor for six of the United States presidents, including his brother Dwight Eisenhower, also Richard Nixon, John F. Kennedy. Lyndon Johnson, Harry Truman, and I think Roosevelt. I'm not sure about Roosevelt, but I think also Roosevelt. He helped, I believe, with a lot of different issues like refugee and relief programs, North Africa, I believe. Also problems that erupted after the assassination of Robert Kennedy and Martin Luther King. I think I read something about some advancements with the Fidel Castro ordeal. Held the assistant director 
director of Office of Information. He became the president of Kansas State University, which is the university that he graduated from. And then on to become the president of the Pennsylvania State University, known as Penn State. But when he took president of Penn State University, it was called an oh, no. I can't remember. I think it was called the Pennsylvania State College uh, when it was first founded, but somewhere in 52, 53, I believe during Milton Eisenhower's presidency there, it had switched to what it is today, the Pennsylvania State University. Um, but he also was the, held the chairman and the presidency of John Hopkins University. Uh, the chairman of the National Commissions on the Cause and Prevention of Violence. And then he wrote and appeared as himself in a documentary film called The Japanese Relocation. He wrote a book called The President is Calling. And I believe there is a library named after him in the Johns Hopkins University. But I did a little digging on the Japanese relocation film that he did. And what I got from that was that, I think, had something to do with that they would capture and hold anyone in the Japanese descendant held them to help to help restrict them from buying land and then some at some point they were I guess released taken back to their home sometime after the war so nonetheless he held many hats in, I believe, in our history of the United States and locally as president of the Penn State University. And then for some reason, he chose this cemetery right here in central Pennsylvania to be his final resting place. He lived in Maryland. Yeah, Baltimore, Maryland, to be more precise. But I am going to pause out until I locate the headstone and be back. Right. It's not too hard to find. Right in front of that. But right there. Milton S. Eisenhower. Final resting place. And right beside him lies his wife, Helen Eisenhower. 
believe the D stood for Elizabeth. Helen Elizabeth Just one. One historical. This must be a. Uh, must have been his family plot. And now he had two kids of his own. He had a son and a daughter. Of course, Milton Eisenhower Jr. Daughter. Daughter's name. His daughter's name was Ruth. Oh no, that was his. Yeah, his daughter's name was Ruth. His wife was Helen E. Eisenhower. Two children. There was Milton Stover, Eisenhower, and Ruth, which they are both passed away as well. I don't see them here. They look like it's just him and his wife that are buried here. So. Nonetheless, I just thought his story was kind of cool. That's it for this for today.